Around 4,200 children and youth are in foster care system in Nebraska. Placing them into loving forever homes is key. And NTV's Alyssa Willard has more with part two of a special report. Life-changing events brought one Kearney family down a path they weren't sure was for them, but it soon became clear that foster care and adoption was a calling from God. <laughs> These are the sights and sounds you'll often experience at Kip and Janice Van Winkle's home in Kearney. At first glance, this may seem like a normal family of six, but getting there wasn't very normal at all. The Van Winkle's two youngest came through foster care and eventually adoption. But in the beginning, Kip wasn't sold on the idea. Janice came to me one day and her family was a, was a foster home. They, they had foster children in all the time and so she brought it to me. Um, and kind of asked me about it and I was, I was, it was a no-go. It was something that I did have my, uh, my, my heart set on and, and I was like, nope, not going to happen. Then after personal loss due to miscarriage and much prayer, Kip, a fifth grade teacher at Faith Christian School in Kearney, says he felt God change his heart. We taste it with. I want a treat. Soon the family began foster care training through Compass, a local nonprofit faith-based foster care agency. Compass got started in 2007, um, really seeking to help children in the foster care system. We noticed that there were a lot of children who were in the foster care system that really hadn't a place to go. After a year of being certified to foster, the Van Winkles finally had their first child in the home. That's a long time. I mean, after, you know, you think you're going to get a call any day, and it was the months just started rolling along, and it was a full year before Joss came um, at eight pounds. And with one, soon came another. And then with Desi, it was completely different. Um, we decided we were ready the second time around, and it was 48 hours later that they called and said they had a placement straight from the hospital. The Van Winkles understood foster care's main goal is reunification with the original family. However, they were open to adoption, and it soon became clear that this six-member family was there to stay. You just kind of jump in and you just take every day as it comes. While bringing in new members of the family was exciting, it was an adjustment as well. <laughs> All of London and half of I mean, anytime you add a member to your family, um, no matter how they come, <laughs> I mean, it's, they're, they're, it's an adjustment. It wasn't instant, but, it, but now, now we can say that they they're definitely have that brother-sister bond. Like with any family, difficulties have come into play. And while there have been challenges raising a multi-background family, the Van Winkles in turn are enriching their lives, their children's lives, and inspiring others to do the same. There were many times we questioned if this was, if we should even be doing this. I mean, it was just too hard on our family and our children and ourselves, our marriage. But, um, but that's just, that's just the calling. I mean, we, we told the Lord yes and, um, that doesn't mean only yes to the easy things, so that means yes to everything. <laughs> and, I mean, there's lives at stake. There's, there's lives at stake. Though the road hasn't been smooth and there's been bumps along the way for the Van Winkle family, they feel it's their duty as a society to take in and love those in need. Alyssa Willard, NTV News, Kearney. Both the Nebraska Children's Home Society and Compass remind that there is especially a need for those willing to foster older youth and right now in Nebraska alone there are around nearly 300 children or youth ready to be adopted from the foster care system at little or no cost.